All right, welcome back. I'm going to do another basic Andrews median lines video. In the first one, I showed you the different types. We have standard pendulum median line, modified shift median line, reverse median line. In this video, I'm going to talk about the five basic rules that come from Alan Andrews as to how price interacts with these median lines, as to how to view price in relation to these median lines. Now these five rules they're going to apply to all the different types of median lines and including a lot of horizontal structures. They're pretty common sense rules. They're going to apply to any instrument, any time frame. So I don't want to look at these rules as just some sort of way to think about a setup and hurt ourselves. We want to know the essence of this. I'm going over this because we should understand the root of it so we can simplify it. I want to look at these rules in a very common sense way. All right. So let's just start out drawing a little bit. Okay. So Rule 1 says there is a high probability, not a guarantee, that price will reach the latest median line, meaning whatever median line set you draw from. You can draw this upsloper, A, B, C, boom, and the downsloper. Now I want to understand this rule. It's not just a statistic. Think about it this way. Think about it in terms, we want to look at this through buyers and sellers and just plain old common sense. Think about this rule in relation to a gap. So a gap is contraction. We did plenty of blogs on gaps. Expansion. Okay? That's what a gap is. So our definition of a gap is actually a wide range bar bigger than the last three bars with a space between the two. Now think about what happens in a gap. There's a high probability that price is going to return to this gap. Why? It's the same as this median line. Why? Price gets launched. Boom! Excitement. Quick imbalance. You ever notice that a lot of times gaps tend to get filled? Whoosh. There's a high probability. Same thing. Whoosh. Right? Median lines are all about the center. Pay attention to the handle. So this is no different a concept. All right? If you're not sure what I'm talking about, the next time price gaps up and takes off, go ahead and buy the breakout up here and then you'll get a real good grounded experience about what I'm talking about how this excitement just comes back and falls back flat falls back to balance this is no different price is in here this excitement goes woof, woof. everybody excited swing swing and we come back to balance the only difference is this is sloped but it's the same concept zoom retest all right, so it's the same idea. And again, you can look. When you can identify a gap, you can see there's a quick whoosh. And if you're still not sure what I'm talking about, go ahead and sell that breakout and have price come and eat your lunch up here. You'll you'll get you'll understand that prices swing. Things go out of balance quickly. They tend to work their way back. So it's zoom, retest. That's why there's a high probability of price reaching the median line. That's rule one. Let's look at rule two. Price will either reverse on meeting the median line. Let's do this with gaps also. See, nobody's ever done this with gaps. They put a lot of silly rules to these things and think they've invented something.
All right. So rule two says price will either reverse on meeting the median line or gap through it. Well, you came back to balance. You're either going to reverse. This is what rule two says. Same thing with a gap. You're either going to reverse. This is what rule two says. Or gap through it, meaning zoom through it. Okay? Zoom through it. All right, that's rule two. Rule three, when price is passed through, passed through the ML, zooming through it instead of reversing, they will pull back to it. There's a high probability. This is the same out of balance idea. There's a high probability you're going to pull back to it. There's a high prob zoom retest. Okay? There's a high probability they will pull back to it. It broke balance. And this is the same thing, right? This is a balance zoom retest. And then often what you're going to be looking for is going to the next line. Okay? Where you'll apply these rules all over again. Rule one, price is going to reach the latest ML. This will be a parallel. But once it goes through, you, you apply these all over again. Rule two, it will either reverse on meeting it or gap through it. If it gaps through it, it will retest. And then you draw another line. And you treat the next line the same way. All right. So now let's look at rule four. When prices pass through the ML, they will pull back to it. Now, wait a second. I doubled up on the rule. Hang on. There we go. Take one. All right. So now we're looking at four. When prices reverse before reaching the ML, leaving a space, they will move more in the opposite direction than when prices were rising towards the ML. What does that mean? It's a failure. So it says there's a high probability of prices reaching the median line, but if they reverse before getting here, it's a failure. Right? It didn't reach it. They're going to move more in the opposite direction. This is called Hagopian's rule. Andrews had a student his name was Agopi, and he says, what happens when price doesn't reach it? And so, all right, we included it in a rule. And this is common sense. It doesn't have the juice to get down here. Well, what's it telling us? Well, it's really strong. That's what it's telling us. And again, this applies to all the lines. So, for instance, if price comes here and goes zoom, price has a high probability of pulling back to the line, rule three, and then it should be going to the next line. And as it goes to the next line, you're going to treat this next line like a median line set. It should reach it. If it goes like this and doesn't make it, that's rule four related to that line. Don't start to glaze over on me now. I'm just trying to explain where a lot of these things come from and how to read price. We make things very simple and we simplify these rules and we simplify how we work with lines. But it's good to come back to the roots and see what where these things came from. So don't go over on me yet. It's not that bad. So it's just applying to the next line. And then we look at rule five price reverse at any median line or extension. This would be an extension of a median line. And say 
price comes over here and we throw what's called a warning line which is just equidistant between these two this gets treated with the same rules right if it goes up above here zoom high probability of pulling back it should be going to the next consider that the next median line if it doesn't make it it's a failure all right once it makes it price can reverse or zoom through it so that's how to read with price hopefully I didn't lose everybody here now let's just look at some charts so when we're drawing median lines where do we draw them from you can draw them from anywhere and look at price in relation to these rules okay but I'll give you a few tips. I like to go swing to swing to swing. Or one easy thing you can always do is find the low. Find the biggest reaction leg and draw from the low to the biggest reaction leg like that. And observe, right? Zoom retest comes back to balance this is rule one here this is not about playing the channels or anything over here this is price in relation to this line don't force price to hit the line don't force price allow price to be price don't turn this into some kind of dogma okay and then what I do from here when price starts to turn then I'm going to draw the next one the one it's handing off from because I want to see the rules applied to this price has a high probability of reading meeting the median line I can even put a warning line on this and you know when it comes to setups a lot of times I'll do a setup that you know is going to look for price on this warning line and this median line but if you basically watch price and say alright price has a high probability of reaching the median line ah you notice it doesn't so that's rule four and then you can draw the next line swinging up price reaches the median line right once it does that it's completed its cycle all right, let's look at a few more things before we wrap up. There's one more. Uh, there's one more little observation that I find useful, and I'll show you a couple practical ways I, I use median lines, okay? So, number one, when you're drawing, you know, you want to be measuring. precisely at least know what you're measuring so when I'm drawing I'm gonna go swing high swing low swing high so for instance I'll be here the first thing I'll do is you know I'll drop from here to here here to here and price has a high probability of reaching the median line right get it it goes zoom return to balance see the space here see the space here get used to looking at the handle and how it might zoom through something or how it might have touches and then as it's going down I'm going to follow it like so and these rules apply to any line any median line set I'm going to use a modified shift here so I'm going to show you where I find this rule to be quite useful and what we're talking about is this this is an observation that Andrews has this is one of his observations and it has everything to do with zoom retest when price pat when price passes through an ml they will move back to it so he says here frequently after crossing a lower mlh now this is what he's talking about could be an upper mlh but let's look 
So here's what he's talking about. Frequently, after crossing, price is going like this, goes like this. After crossing a lower MLH, MLH are the outer parallels, lower and upper. Prices continue to rise along. So just when you think, okay, this thing is signaling a big down move but there's a tendency for prices to actually crawl back up along this thing a little ways before a further drop that was signaled by passing through in the first place so it passes through here but there's a tendency for it to rise same thing zoom retest and so this is something we can do all kinds of things with Meaning, price just zoomed this. I know this isn't the median line, but think of it that, that way now. Out of balance. So, frequently after crossing, price will continue to fall back down that line until a further rise that was signaled by price going up in the first place. And so right here, I'll frequently use, say, a gap, a gap, in conjunction with the back side of this line. See, this line isn't holding anymore. Boom. So this is one of the ways I'll use that particular observation. Let's look at a few other things. We'll look at, um, let's make the rounds. We'll look at futures tick chart and we'll look at some stock this is actually today's Russell that I was trading and so let's just make some observations okay just see your swings so as price opens up in the morning I draw a B C price has a high probability of reaching the median line and it does then I toss that line I'm not making a channel the gold in this is this zoom retest price has a high probability right boom and it does now it's heading down it doesn't make a new low I follow it down with the next line that's that rule four the failure Hagopian rule can't make it oh this is giving me information and then I can also since I understand something about media or swings I can draw very specifically I mean it's very simple I mean I can just see with whatever line I've drawn here whether it's a median line set or even if I just drew swings that big that big oh price ain't doing that no more right something else is going on or if I just drew a trend line. Now I'm just trying to apply common sense trading here. Now I see swings. Now I can draw very precisely A, B, C, and look for that. Not to leave you stock guys out, let's look for a few stocks. AMAT Weekly. Remember, low to the biggest reaction leg. Zoom. Retest price is a high probability. And then you follow it back the other way. And it's showing you about where price is going to land. So let's do one more that we can do live. All right. And I'll show you also how we can use minor and major put together. So if we did a major median line set, remember what I told you, we're going to come from the high to the biggest leg. Boom, boom. Price has a high probability of reaching the median line. Now this is something that I'll often see. I can also see within this bigger swing, there are also swings here and I can use a minor median line set, a pendulum with a standard 
to gauge about when I might want to sell this swing. See, watch this, watch this swing all by itself. See it stall? Look at the belly in here and go zoom out of balance. If you're not sure what out of balance means, go ahead and sell that breakout. Whoosh, price has a high probability of coming back. And price finally does reach its median line set down here. So this will be a curious one to watch. RL Weekly, it has now reached its median line set. And we'll see if this thing begins to turn and we can maybe start to draw an upsloping. Already I can see, right? Try and see the beauty in this upsloping already. All right, forget the rules, forget the nonsense. I want you to imagine real time on the right side in process what this beauty would look like. Let's see the swing before it happens. All right, look, boom, boom. Try and see this, let the median line help you. See this, See, look at the white space. And what would that white space look like to balance itself out? See, it's going to be this, this belly here and this belly here. That's what it would look like to balance itself out. And we can begin to see this kind of thing in real time. And what gives me an idea that somewhere around here might be a turn? Well, this median line picked it out for me. This was this stretch. Okay? And so now I'll be on the lookout. I'll be on the lookout. I still have to apply money management and everything else to my trades. So we'll keep an eye on this. All right. So I'll wrap this up here. That was uh, the basic rules along with some other median line babble.